Hi, my name is Olga, and today I'm going to show you how to make a vegetarian tofurkey that will serve as a centerpiece for our delicious holiday. First of all, we're going to make a tofu turkey uh, that's flavored with a lot of fresh herbs and other seasonings. Then we're going to make this amazing stuffing that has cranberries, cashews, fresh herbs, and olives. And then we're going to round it off with a delicious vegetarian gravy made with wine and fresh mushrooms and cream. I have personally never eaten a meat turkey, but I wanted my tofurkey to taste like the real thing, so that it would go with cranberry sauce and gravy and all those other traditional trimmings. So, we're going to start by making the base for the tofurkey uh, using this tofu. I'm going to use five blocks of firm tofu and one block of silken tofu. I have chosen to flavor my tofurkey with a lot of these fresh herbs and other things that are traditionally used to flavor poultry. Okay, so I've cut the tofu into cubes and now I'm adding the parsley and thyme, rosemary and the sage. I'm adding some miso. Quite a lot of fresh pepper. Adding some poultry flavoring and some onion powder. So I'm going to blend all this together. Now I've blended the tofu and all the herbs and flavorings, and you can see it's quite um, finely blended. So I'm transferring this tofu and herb blend into a coolander, dressed with a clean towel. Smoothing this down on top and then wrapping it up. There. So now I'm placing a plate on top and then I'm putting a heavy can here to weigh it down. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator in a bowl overnight. If you don't have so much time, you can just let it drain for a couple of hours. Okay, so our tofu is draining in the fridge, and in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to make a really nice stuffing. You can, of course, use your own recipe, or you can buy stuffing in the store. But this one's really good, and I really recommend you try it. For our stuffing, we have some dried cranberries, 10 olives with pimento inside, roasted cashews, one sour green apple, one loaf of French bread or baguette, three onions, some fresh celery, some sage, some parsley, and some vegetable stock. I've made my own but you can use a stock cube if you want. And we have some fresh black pepper and poultry seasoning. So now I'm going to cut all these ingredients into little cubes, about a quarter inch maybe, and then I'll meet you in the kitchen and can start cooking. So now we're in the kitchen and I'm going to show you how to make this stuff. I've cut up all the ingredients and I'm going to start by toasting these uh, bread cubes in the oven with some vegan butter. And the oven I've preheated to 200 degrees Celsius. While the bread's toasting in the oven, I'm melting some butter here in the pan. Butter spraying, and I'm going to add the onions. And the celery. And I'm going to let that fry for about 5 to 10 minutes until it's soft and see-through. So the onions and the celery are frying, and I'm going to take the bread out and add it. 
important to toast the bread because otherwise you end up with a mushy stuffing. When adding all the bread, uh, and your pan will probably be pretty full at this stage, but it will shrink down a little bit while it's cooking. So now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. So I'm adding the chopped green apple, and the olives, cashews, cranberries. You can also use raisins, but I think cranberries are really beautiful and they give the stuffing a nicer color. Okay, I'm going to stir this a little bit. Okay, so now I'm adding chopped up parsley and sage. And some black pepper. Quite a lot. Okay. And then I'm going to add about a cup of stock. Stir that around a bit. So I'm adding some poultry seasoning in. And now I'm going to turn the stove down quite low, put on a lid, and let it fry for about uh, one hour. And every 15 minutes or so I'll check it and stir it a little bit, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. And I can also add some stock if it seems too dry. Okay, so the stuffing's still cooking. I can show you. It's getting really nice when all the flavors are mixing. And it still needs some more time, so I'm going to show you how to make the gravy while we're waiting. So the first step in making the gravy is to melt some butter in the pan. And to that I'm going to add finely chopped onions and some finely chopped mushrooms. I'm using uh, soaked, dried uh, forest mushrooms, but you can use any kind like porcini mushrooms for some. I don't know. I'm going to let that fry for about five minutes. Now the onions are a little bit see-through, and I'm going to add flour. And of course, the more flour you add, the thicker your gravy is going to be in the end. And I'm adding about two heaps tablespoons of that. Just let that fry for about a minute, and you stir that constantly so it doesn't burn. Okay, so now I'm going to add some red wine. And I'm adding some vegetable stock to the wine and mushrooms and onion. And a little bit of soy sauce. I'm using Chinese mushroom soy sauce, which goes well with the mushrooms. And some black pepper. And then we're going to let that reduce for about 20 minutes. Um, you can always add more stock or water if it gets too thick. Okay, so the tofu has been draining overnight. We're going to unwrap it and see what it looks like. Okay. That looks great. Um, now we have this firm base to work with. I'm hollowing this out in the middle to make a cavity where we're going to put the stuffing. And I'm leaving about two centimeters around the edge, about almost an inch. So now we have it hollowed out, and we're going to add the stuffing. And as you can see, I've made far too much stuffing, but I think that's really great, because then we can just have a plate of it on the side. So now I'm going to add about half of this back. Okay. So I'm smoothing that out. Covering the whole thing. Okay. So I've buttered this oven proof pan. And I'm going to try to transfer my turkey into it. And it will be a little bit tricky. So, do this. You flip it upside down. Cross your fingers. Ok. 
Okay, a little bit crooked. We can just fix that. Okay. So I'm really happy uh, with the way that this turned out. And now we're going to move on to the next step, which is super fun. So I want my tofu turkey to have drumsticks and wings. And I'm going to show you how to make them. I've carved these little bones from a parsnip. Put it in a clean towel like this and then add some of the leftover tofu. And the towel texture will sort of imitate the chicken skin. Look great. Right. I have a wet towel here and I'm putting this parsnip bone inside and then adding some of this tofu mixture. Now, using this wet towel, I sort of shape that into the drumstick shape. Okay. And then I add it to the turkey. So here we have our little tofurkey. And I'm going to brush it with this marinade. Uh, the marinade consists of miso, it's light miso, and some honey, some mustard, some sesame oil some herbs and some pepper. A lot of people use uh, like to use red wine in this marinade, but I think that the, it gives the turkey a very dark color that doesn't seem suitable. So here we have our little tofurkey, and I'm going to brush it with this marinade. Uh, the marinade consists of miso, it's light miso, and some honey, some mustard, some sesame oil, some herbs, and some pepper. Okay, so now the tofurkey is completely covered with marinade, and it's ready to go into the oven. And I'm going to let it bake for about one and a half hour, and during the baking time I'm going to take it out about every 15 minutes to brush it with this marinade, and also to brush it with butter. Okay, so our gravy has reduced to this nice thickness. I'm just going to add a couple of ingredients. I'm adding some chopped up herbs. It's mostly thyme and sage. A little bit of rosemary. And I'm also adding some soy cream. If you're not a vegan, you can use regular whipping cream or cooking cream. Okay, so our gravy's done. And we're going to take out the turkey and add the skin. Yeah. So I'm taking out the tofurkey. Um, it's really nice and brown. These are the bean curd sheets that I'm going to use for the turkey skin. And before use, I've soaked them for 10 minutes. So now they look like this. So I have a smaller piece of this sheet and I'm just dressing the turkey with it like this. We get under the wings like that. Press it down there. And I have some smaller pieces here that I'm gonna use to cover the drumsticks. So I'm wrapping the wings with some of this sheet. That. Now I'm going to add one final layer of marinade before baking it in the oven again. And this last time I'm just going to bake it for about 15 minutes and then our tofurkey is done. Okay, so here we have it, our amazing tofurkey. With crispy skin, nice tofu body <laughs> and great stuffing inside.